All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome back to Shapes 2, where we extract shapes, move them onto a conveyor belt, and then potentially stack them, and also cut and rotate them, and then only to send them to the void. But as always, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And hopefully you're doing well, and I want to give a massive thank you for the love and the support on the first video that we did on Shapes 2. It's been a blast. I've been live streaming the living crap out of this, and oh boy, you better believe the addiction is setting hard. And as no, I, I, I know for a fact it's setting for you guys as well. So at the end of last video, we started working on these couple of pin tasks here. So we can start getting some like research points. So we can start upgrading our current, well, items and machines and all this kind of good stuff. So right now we can cash in this one, which is the square. And then we need to get, where is this double square? We was just at it, this one. So now we need to get this square and then cut it down into a half one. So what we're going to do is just for now, we're just going to remove this right here. And then we are going to grab the cutter uh, and we're just going to place you there. So one, two, three, one, two, three. If you are still wondering why I'm saying three, by now, majority of you have played it. You probably sunk 12 plus hours into the game. If you have, let me know in the comments. And if you do enjoy this video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. Even if it's just an emoji, we are 150-ish subscribers away from hitting 50,000. So if we can make it before Satisfactory 1.0 comes out, honestly, that'd be a blast. But as I was saying, how do I know that I'm going to need to put three of these down? Well, it tells me literally right there so whenever i make any alterations to belts or belt speeds or all this kind of stuff this will update and it will tell you exactly how much you need so i need three cutters per belt so hence the reason i put three down bada bing bada bosh attach them to there like this now we have things being cut we do have to cut them again i believe oh no we don't we have to then get half circles and put them onto it so what i'm thinking about doing is if we can bring in some circles do i have anything unlocked yet i don't i would like potentially the swapper because it swaps the west halves of the shapes and puts them together which will make it so much easier for my piece i'm about to try and unlock but we do have these circles over here which we have complete so i'm actually going to get rid of this because i'm going to utilize these circles over here for this shape so what we need to do, there is multiple ways of doing things, by the way. There's multiple systems, multiple things you can kind of do. And I believe we did unlock blueprints, right? So we can go bam, bam, bam. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Um, so because the reason I say I put a lot of time into this is if we go into my blueprints, you can see I've made some blueprint folders. And if we go up into the open folder, you can see the folders I've made in here. So I've got belt blocks, cutter blocks, minor blocks, paint blocks, rotation blocks, stacker blocks. And I'm just kind of realized you might not be able to see that on screen right now because I'm capturing the game, not my display. So boop, there you go. That can be the sound effect for the transition, but here you go. So you can see inside here, I've already added the folders and inside of these folders, which we can actually do in game, I can just double click on these and you can see I've got a four lane, four lane cutter, eight lane swapper, and then I've got the minor blocks. And all this is really doing is just basically me getting this and I can paste these down because we're going to be mining a lot. And these don't need to be anything special because as we know, when we did start a brand new game, there is you did sign a contract to not make spaghetti. And that is exactly what we're going to try not to do. So you can see I've got two paint blocks, four lane paint blocks, paint blocks, and so on. But you know, for a fact that I've been playing a lot, when you go over to the live category right here, and you can see I have two VODs right here where we played approximately just over... 12 hours near enough 14 hours on me playing shapes too which is a totally different save by the way but if you're interested and want something just to fill in that space while you're waiting for another shapes video check these out it's like working your way through these because we are working on trains and all that kind of good stuff but anywho back to the game we've just got another completion done which is the half one so we're going to unlock that get some more science points and now we've got to try and get a half circle on top of this one so what we're going to do is we're literally just going to use this area right here and I'm going to get these uh, and I'm going to just, I think, 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 think. I'm just going to get these cut. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to get six, bada bing, bada bosh. We're going to get you up here like this. And then my rule of thumb, just to make my life so much easier, is I always make sure that my, my tasks up here, I always make sure they face north. So I still build in any direction, but I want this outcome to be 
facing the correct direction north. So if we look at this category now, you can see down here we're facing north in the compass. So this needs to be on the left hand side. If we always keep that mentality within ships, it helps so much, which I found out because I learned the hard way. So what we need to do is we need to rotate this by 180. So we're just going to go boop. Oh, I've only got the, oh, maybe I should. Oh, do I, do I unlock the 180 rotator? <gasps> yes, let's do that. It's going to make it so much easier for my life right now. So let's just go with... It's not a one... Oh my god, bits. It's not a... <laughs> I needed the counterclockwise run. <laughs> god damn it. Anyway, well, let's just put these here like this. And then let's just get you to go on the end of the... So we can now... Oh, wait, no. No, it is right. It is right. No, we're fine. I'm just... Yeah, ignore me. So it needs to be on the left, which is on the left here, which is fine. And now we need to get these squares, which are over here. And uh, this is the reason why I always recommend to always cut down here before stacking. So, because some people did mention in the previous video uh, on launch day that why do you not cut from the top section after you do that? Would it not be, be so much easier? But now, as you can see, we have a bit of a dilemma because I need to get all of these and I need to bring these out of here. Yes, I can just remove these like this and then bring this around here, lift it, take it over. It's only going to be temporary, so it is a solution, but then we don't know where it's going to go from there unless we look at what we need to do next, right? And because we only need to do the circles, it is okay to do, but with the previous shape that people were saying, it wasn't the case because the future pieces needed to go further than what it was here so i'm just going to remove them like that we are going to use it like this and then i want to make sure we are facing north we are facing north the squares are on the right hand side bob's our uncle fanny's our aunt and we've got two lines right here so we're going to get two stacks so we're just going to go let's go here uh we're gonna go six along there and then we're gonna go six along there like this we're gonna get the three from here to go this way and then the three from you to go here here and here and then we're just gonna bring in these squares like this lift them up there Bada bing, bada bosh. I may as well take you, keep you high and take you along here like this. Bring you along, lift you up, take you over, drop you down, push you in like this. And then you are being fed to the void. <laughs> I swear I'm hearing random voices. It's making, it's freaking me out a little bit. But now we have got this shape we need to. And then whilst that's doing that and doing its thing, wait a minute. 399 out of 46. Wait, did I still need the pizza? Sh oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me just finish them off. <laughs> the good old control Z. Because that is literally the last piece of that task. I don't know don't know why. I don't I'm pretty sure I saw this as an X earlier on. But anyhow, let's wait for this to get done. And then I'm gonna rebuild what I've just done here. 55, 58, 59, 460. There we go. Unlock. Bada bing, bada bosh. Now I can press control Y and keep going forward and rebuild what I've just done. So I can, I'm building this in real time. I'm just time lapsing it. Or am I? <laughs> so now I can just put everything back. And I think that is where we should be at. The next thing I want to do is obviously we need to utilize the other side of these circles because we now need to stack uh, another semicircle on this shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going over this location. Uh, we are going to need to cut. So I'm just going to grab these, control C this. I'm going to press F to flip it or R to rotate it. And bada bing, bada bosh, we are now cutting the additional shapes. And then what I need to do is from here, we need to then stack again. So I'm just going to come over to this location and I'm just going to put six down there and I'm just going to put six down there, maybe? No, I'm going to move it over by one because I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to raise it. I'm going to put it up there like so. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. Come down here, raise it here and then eh, eh, and then anchor it. Then eh. Okay, cool. Then we're just going to do that. And we're going to bring in the other belts from this side. So it's going to come along here, like so. You come down here, like so. And then you guys can then just go... Oh, the outputs are here bits. You guys are here. Then you guys are going here to here. So we're just going to do that. We just need to wait for this to complete, which we need 320 of. Bob's our uncle. I've just kind of realized this main one up here that we need to do is just the one we just kind of deleted, but without the actual pizza slot, pizza, 
pizza slice. The pizza slice is on top. But this one, however, we're already making this top shape literally right here. But instead, we actually just need to put a square underneath it. So if we can do that. But I don't think we can right now because we're utilizing the squares for this for this. And then we're utilizing the squares for this for this. So right now I'm utilizing the all the extractors and we can't really expand because of this task down here that we're doing. So I need this one to speed up to complete this milestone. So then we can push onto this one, get that one done. And then I can utilize the circles from here and then also the squares from here. And then these squares, we're going to stack these items here on this. That's the plan. But that's that milestone done. Let's do that. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then we're going to remove this right here, like so. We're going to remove you, you, and you. We're going to bring you down here. Like, nope, that's wrong. Wait, along here, like that. Then we're going to grab you. I'm going to take you along here. We're going to raise you, lower you, bring you down, and then connect you to there. We're then going to take these up, down, here like this. You know how I mentioned about the contract and spaghetti? Well, just ignore that for now. This is a temporary solution. But now at least the ships are going into the void. And we are working towards the milestone. Well, I say the milestone, but it's technically a task. But you know what I mean. Come on, just a few more. There we go. Bada bing, bada bosh. So let's mark that as unlocked. Get them extra points. And then let's go into our little laboratory here. And I'm thinking we go boom, boom, boom. Let's get more speed. Because speed is key to success. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually a thing, but still, the, the faster things go, sometimes the better it is. And for those that have got a little cheeky grin on their face right now, not like that. Dirty manny people. Ew. So let's remove that and then let's start working on this next shape. So we need to get these two into a square. So we're just going to make a simple stacker uh, little set. What's our next shape after this, actually? Uh, we need to do that, and then we need to put these, this semi, well, the corner circles on this piece. Okay, so if we can get two more, I would really like the swapper. I would really like the swapper. The swapper is just OP. I need two more tech points. I could, I could, I could, I could just quickly smash this one out and get these squares. Basically, I need four lines of squares all to be stacked for the end goal here. So we need three for this one and four for that one. So let's get these squares into six stackers to make a double stack of squares. And then we double that to make a triple stack of squares. And that is just consuming the three lines. So we've got another line here, which will be for the fourth one when this one gets complete. So I just need to put an output belt. To the void. <clears throat> and then we just wait for that to complete. And then once that complete, we get the two points. And then we just remove these belts right here. We're going to bring that up to the like so. And then we're just going to bring in some stackers. We're just going to rotate them along the like this. Bring it up the additional belt like so. Attach that to the bada bing, bada bosh. Connect them to the and then we should have the triple stack. But I do have enough points to actually unlock the actual swap now. So let's get that unlocked. And then whilst that's doing its thing over here, we can look into these circles. So what we're going to do is we need to make this shape right here. So we need to get two diagonal pieces. So let's bring the circles over. Then the first thing we're going to look at is we want to get these into basically halves. So we only have the swapper right now, which does mean that's not going to help us at all. I kind of do need the other cutter. So let's try something else. We are going to go here. We're going to cut three. So let's do this. Let's cut that. We have then got this. Then what I'm going to do is this is going to go into one line. We're going to get these. We are then going to rotate. Actually, no, that should be kind of fine. What if I was to just swap you to you now? I need to rotate one of these, right? What if I was to get you and then rotate you and then you into you? That makes that piece, which is not what we want. Oh, forget it. I'm just going to do it this way instead. I'm just going to do it this way until I get the other one. We're just going to do that like that. And then we've got these pieces right here, right? And then I'm just going to rotate these like so. And then we should have these, which then means I can then go six across you, come along you to like this, get you to go up, bada bing, bada bosh. And then that should give us the shape we need. Then I'm just going to bring that in there, get that done. And then that should be that. I'm, I would like, if possible, to mirror this. 
but I don't think that's going to be the case because if I was to do that, it's not going to work. And the reason being, oh, it actually is. Ignore me because I was thinking I might need the other rotators, but no, I was on spoon bit side of brain. But we have completed this one, which means we can unlock that. And is there any tasks we can actually unlock? Not tasks, science points. Yes, let's get the 90 counterclockwise rotator. Bada bing, bada bosh. Next thing I do want to get is the cutter, which cuts half block and then sends it over to the other one, which is something I kind of want to do. So we need six science points for that one. So we have just completed this. No, we haven't. Oh, no, it's being done. Ignore me. So we've completed this one over here. So let's remove that like so. And then we want to start bringing these onto squares. So we're just going to get two stackers uh, like so, like this. We're just going to put the squares on the bottom like that. And then we're just going to remove you, you. We're going to bring this one over here like so. Take you along here, lift you up, take you into these six. And then we are going to bring this one, lift it from here, take it over to here to attach to these like so. And then we've got the shape we need. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-plan a little stacker here so well let's get them going into there first to speed that production up but if i was to put one two three four five of you down there two three four five we then are going to bring these over here so really i'm going to put that there which will come down here into here and i'm going to lift it here to go into these actually no i'm going to bring it here lift to there to there Right. And then I'm going to have another line coming down, which is going to do the same. And I'm going to on the eye to lift this. Oh, no, 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 no. I was fine. I was fine. I was fine. I can bring them there, lift that there, but I'm going to take it to there. Because when I put down the additional stack it in this location, it will, these will automatically attach. Right. So cool. But we are very close. We are 300. We need 20 more. And to be honest, it's kind of slowly flying up there. And boom. Nice. So we just need to complete this shape, which we need 640 of. And then we are then going to stack this circle on top of that to then complete the milestone, which will unlock space platforms, which means we can start utilizing the shapes out here and start bringing in our own shapes, start putting platforms down and all that kind of cool stuff. Because the way this game is, is this is one game. So you start working out your logistics in here. But then when you zoom out to this map, this is a whole entire separate game because this is basically a larger version of what you're doing on the platforms. So you start bringing stuff from here. You start building platforms here and start combining this shape with this shape and start bringing blue into here and color this stuff. And then once you've got that, you can start taking it all to the bloody void. Because in reality, we don't really want to be constructing anything on this. This needs to be clear so we can bring in all the belts from multiple different angles. And eventually, I'm going to remove all of these as well. We're not even going to utilize these squares or circles because I want to make sure we utilize this entry point for importing items from our factories that could be out here. And it depends on where we kind of want to build things. And yes, it's going to get pretty crazy. Because once we unlock the operator zone, which is up here, which I believe it could be next milestone, once we get that complete, um, I'm going to tell you my plan eventually for this. Come on, come on. Boom. Nice. There we go. So, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not on the right ones, are they? Uh-oh. I didn't think about that. I didn't do my rule of thumb. Oh, bit C. You know how I said at the beginning of the video, we need to make sure that these are always facing in north. Well, I've done that and now I plan for it to be built, but these actually need to be rotated by 90 degrees in either counterclockwise or clockwise, because this is going to go on top of, we need this corner piece to go on the squares, not the circles. So really I need to just delete this. I then need to get these, rotate them like so. What are you doing? Hello? Uh, uh, what, uh, okay, key binds just go poof. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> I'll put the rotators the wrong way. <laughs> okay, shh. Allow it to be. There we go. Oh my god. I. 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 Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, now we got it. Now we got it. Jeez, Louise. Okay, so if they're now facing north, which is correct, we should then put basically six down there six down there 
Um, let's move it up one. I should have just cut it. Let's put it there. Let's put it there. Connect you together like so, like this. And then we need to bring in, we need to remove these because now I want to bring this down here and I want to bring you out here and then into there. Wait, don't these need to go on top? These need bits. These need to go bits. These need to go on top. Okay, let's control that. Control X that. Let's shift it up by one. Um, let's do it that way. Let's bring you along here. We're going to lift you from here to go to there. And then we're going to do the same here. Uh, lift you to go this way, this way. Bada bing, bada bosh. Just like that. Just going to remove these belts from underneath. We're going to shift these belts back. I'm going to bring this underneath. Bring that along here and then into the like so. And that gives us the shape we need, I think. Yeah, circles on top of squares. Beautiful. And there it goes. There's our first one in. Boom. One out of 196. What doesn't help is I didn't connect these <laughs> these outputs to there. So that will be a lot quicker because I was like, hold on a minute. Why is everything frozen up here? Why is everything stopping? Like, nothing's cooking right now. Only to find out I only connected these two machines to the output. So it turns out I'm, I'm even more of a spoon because I was like, why is this belt not like half full right now? Well, if we go over here and I hit control Z, look what was happening. I was sending the previous shape that I need over there. So like 50% was going this way. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know sometimes. <laughs> you are being corrupted. <laughs> Okay. Apparently the void wants me to feed him. So we are doing so, but maybe we're not enough. And we're still only at 745-ish. So maybe less than half a minute to get there. Wait, no, what would it be? We're still getting 90 per minute. We're sending 180 per minute right now. So just over a minute. I stand corrected. And there we have it. Milestone completed. Unlock your reward in the milestones interface. Hell yeah. Unlock. Boom. We have now unlocked a space platforms. So, technology briefing. You've proven some basic skills, so we think you are ready for this. You may now build space platforms and foundations to expand in the universe. For these ones, though, we've added a platform limit. I mean, we are not insane, right? <laughs> well, um, I think I need to have words with these developers. Tobias, we need to talk. But this allows us to unlock space platforms, foundation, space belts, foundation, space belt, tunnel entrance, shape miner extension, shape miner, rewards, which is basically a platform limit, and vortex inputs now. We can actually upgrade these so we can basically unlock these icons to send things, which basically allows us to unlock these, these uh, padlock things here so we can add more inputs. Into the void. So, yeah. Which is pretty cool, I guess, because if we look at it, we have 12 inputs, right? 12 inputs, imp inputs, inputs can be stacked twice, which means we'll have 24. But then we can go into the upgrades panel and then we can find out we can unlock a third floor for 50 science points, which means we can then stack again for more inputs, which will give us a total of 36. And then 36 times 4 will give us 144. And then 144 times by how fast can belts go? Uh, 180 a minute, I believe. Which, after I've just got my calculator out, is 25,920 shapes per minute. Which is pretty cool. And that's not considering something we can do down here, which I will give you a little teaser to if you've not got to that, is when we get down to trains, we can actually send trains straight into the void. So yeah, we can actually send trains from the actual like lines and then shoot them straight into there so we can send things in bulk. So let's select the next factory. Once completing the last milestones, you'll be rewarded with your operator certification. As a proud owner of the certification, you can now start working on real factory and earn us some shapes. Your progress is transferred, including buildings and unlocked progress. So we have factory normal and factory hard. And you better believe I'm going with hard. This will transfer all your progress to factory hard. You will not be able to switch the factory environment after you choose uh, after your choice. 
but you can now also start a new game from these factories directly in the menu. So now we can click continue. We get a black screen and then boop, we are back in. So we can now see in the milestones, we're now working with colors. So we need to get these squares, well, diagonal squares and diagonal circles. And the next milestone we want to start looking towards is fluids and painting, because right now we can't extract the paint sections right here. The only thing we can do is extract these. So we can already see that this right here is basically what we kind of want is we need this blue square and this blue square. And this is where I think, if I'm not mistaken, swappers and rotators will help me because I can transfer this one to this side and then that one to that side, then cut. And then that will give me blue squares, which is what we want. And then transfer it back, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. But that can wait till next time. So if you enjoy my content, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And check out these right here. Have you checked out my second channel yet? No? Well, give this a click. More bits. Go and have a look. Go, go, go. But as always, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.